Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. Jaspie's 21 box finals basketball mixer in the books featuring a Kobe box, Break King, all sorts of fun. So that hit parade, three peat back there, the memorabilia inside, pretty awesome stuff. All card ship. Wow. So there's a lot of huge potential there. Big thanks to this group right here for getting in on the action. There are the teams right here. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a two, four times. Four the hard way. One, two, three, and four. So that's Sean O down to Brad after four. Two and a two, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and four. After four times, we got Grizzlies down to the Nets. Mac, are you are you laughing at the idea that, that there should be an assistant here? Sean O oh with the Grizzlies. Roy with the Raptors, Sean with the Lakers, Mac with the Hornets, last spot mojo, Sean with the Spurs, Daniel with the Bulls, Brad with the Hawks, Sean O with the Blazers, Gretchen with the Timberwolves, Brian with the Heat, Tom with the Wizards, Sean O with the Magic, Austin with the Pistons, uh, Dimitro with the Jazz, Asa with the Pacers, PJ with the Kings, Robert with the Sixers, Brad with the Warriors, Igor with the Nuggets, Daniel Katz with the Rockets, Austin with the Mavs, Lonnie with the Clippers, Greg with the Thunder, Sean M with the Pelicans, Daniel with the Knicks, Sean O with the Cavs, Michael with the Bucks, Sean with the Suns, Aaron with the Celtics, and Brad with the Brooklyn Nets. Let's get all this on one screen. We're going to pause the video for just a little bit. And we're going to give people a chance to trade if they want to. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter. But in the end, no deals were done. Maybe disaster averted? I don't know. Who knows? We're going to find out when we rip open these 21 boxes. Thanks, everybody. So I know it's kind of hard to see all the boxes on the uh, camera right here, but... Trust me, there's 21 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's three boxes each and 21 back there, three items in there. So let's just, I'm just going to grab what's in front of me and let's just rip and go. I think maybe I'll try to catch, do some of the, the, the boxes with a lot more cards in there kind of first. All right, so there's to 149, Seiko Demboya. The relic is, oh, relic and autograph, Cam Reddish. 21 out of 49. Two color, dual relic and autograph. Rookie Cam Reddish going to Brad and the Hawks. Uh, put those hits back there. All right, got DeAndre Hunter as well and Jarrett Culver. Just in the interest of time, those uh, numbered cards will have our shipping team uh, top sleeve and top load those before they go out. All right. Uh, oh, this was a an exclusive edition of Chronicles, I think. Oh, yeah, this is the Lucky Envelope Chronicles. All right, we got Darius Garland to eight. It's a lower number, so let's just leave that one up right away. And a P.J. Washington Jr. Hometown Heroes, also numbered to eight. Nice. So Darius Garland going to uh, Sean and Cleveland, the P.J. Washington Hornets. That'll be for uh, Mike, Mac, in the chat. All right, this is a certified Asia edition.
Devin Booker, Shea Gilgis Alexander. We got a rookie Ovi Toppin and a uh, second year Zion Williamson. All right. And then we got Donner's Choice. Cassius Winston, Nick Richards, Trey Jones, Toru, a Jaden McDaniels, and a Stevie Francis autograph. Nice, to 49. Daniel Katz with the Rockets. RJ Hampton. Nuggets autograph going to Igor and the Nugs. Aaron Naismith, Mo Bamba to 49, Nikola Jokic to 99. Jaden McDaniels will go to Gretchen. All right. How about some Crown Royale? 1718 Crown Royale. Some rookie Tatum right there. Going to Aaron and the Celtics. Back here we've got Donovan Mitchell. Wow. Jersey and autograph Donovan Mitchell. Rookie silhouette. 78 out of 199. Four... Dimitro and the Utah Jazz. Nice, congrats. And we got Frank Jackson, piece of his jersey back there. Yeah, that Donovan Mitchell is really nice. Donovan, Donovan Mitchell win an MVP someday? I think Logan and I, you and I were talking about that a few days ago. There's Magic Johnson. All right. Choice, 2019-2020. What happened with the... Uh, what happened with the Suns yesterday? They lo they've lost three in a row, which is pretty uncharacteristic in the playoffs. I feel like someone was chatting about that for a moment. Was it Ben, maybe? Oh, yeah, Ben was saying the Bucks have been bad in games one and two in every series, but then dominant in the games after. So just in-series adjustments? I, guess, I suppose that's what's happening. Zach Levine, Nasir Little, and Bruno Fernando. And behind Bowl Bowl is Tremont Waters, 32 out of 88. And Darius Baisley, signature series for OKC. That's going to go to Greg. It's just the it's just the Greek freak factor. I know, we need, might need to do a wellness check on Joe P. And there's Bowl Bowl. All right, should we do this? We might as well. There's a lot of cards in here. This is 1996-97 Upper Deck SP. Yeah, I'm sure you can find some of this guy, but Kobe rookies. So Sean O'Leary with the Lakers. Time to time to perk up a little bit if you're watching. We're also looking for film insert cards and whatnot.
All right. I actually was uh, I actually was uh, was hanging out with a buddy of mine last night, and we kind of missed the. Uh, yeah. Kind of missed a good chunk of the game. Nice, Kobe. That's nice. But what happened? What happened in that game last night? It's just Greek Freak? I guess I'm looking at some headlines here with his parents in the stands. Drew Holiday stole Game Five for the Bucks, so maybe a little, a little inspirational performance from Drew Holiday. It's just Giannis. Ooh, Justin saying. Gretch pulled a nice hologram Kobe on Instagram from some loose packs of this the other night. Nice. The Bucks were making everything when they needed to. I, I'm not sure, Eric. Check the uh, filler page and see if that's the last one. It should say. So I'm just looking at the box score here. Yeah, Giannis had 32 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists. Yeah, Middleton scoring 29 points definitely helps big time. 7 rebounds, 5 assists. And yeah, Drew Holiday, 13 assists along with 27 points. And a few steals, a block. I mean, it's not like the Suns had a bad game. You know, Devin Booker had 40 points. Two other guys in 20 points. I did notice that. I thought, I think I, I saw the Bucks were down big early on. And then I thought, oh, well, I mean, Suns are at home. They're going to win this game. It's going to go back to Milwaukee. But I was surprised that they, that they took it. We, I did end up watching like the last minute or two of the game. I had kind of written it off. Suns had a Justin saying Suns started so hot. Yeah, 16 point in the first. And then within 430 into the second quarter, they were down already. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the box score here. Looks like Milwaukee put up 43 points to Phoenix's 24 in the second quarter. Can't do that. Well, the next game, so who does everyone have in the, in the next game? The next game is on Thursday. Um, I'll be here. Thursday, 6 o'clock LA time. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Tuesdays, tomorrow. Sorry, Thursday is the, uh, is the game seven if necessary. Uh, game six is uh, tomorrow. Not tomorrow. My schedule's all off now that we change it up. Tuesday. Not Thursday. Tuesday, 6 o'clock Pacific. All right, some of these cards can get stuck together, but... It's the... Happens. I, I do like these, the hollow in the background there. Nice Ray Allen. Patrick Ewing, KG. Is Derek Fisher a rookie in here too? All right, 
So I guess we've got a few a few Kobe's here. So I guess all these Kobe's could add up. All right, these prospects cards. And I suppose, Sean, you're gonna send these out to get graded, and then see. Hopefully, some of them gets. Uh, you know, some of them end up coming back with very nice numbers. That's what we want to see. Yeah, I am getting used to this new schedule here. AI. Here's the glove, Gary Payton. Kids, if you're watching, this is uh, this is what basketball used to look like in the '90s. <laughs> so Justin's saying there's about three Kobe's to a box from what you've seen on the Instagram channel. We've got a few already in this box. Maybe we'll, we'll be lucky enough to find some more. There's Kevin Johnson. Wasn't he the mayor of a city at some point? Yeah, I set aside that Iverson too. Ray Allen. Great movie. Charles. Remember, all cards ship. Right, Ben's right. Yes, Kevin Johnson was mayor of Sacramento for a little bit. Stephon Marbury. Nice, there's Shaq. Was he a, uh, oh, gotcha. I was about to ask if he was a good mayor and Ben saying he was until, until he started touching people inappropriately. Yeah, don't do that, folks. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Aaron likes these like, what, high school photo, like yearbook photo type poses here. Yeah, I kind of do too. The 90s were a wild time. Well, at least these surface grades might be a challenge. Although, thankfully, with those Kobe cards, I think none of them seem to need to. None of those Kobe rookies seem to be stuck together with another card, so. So that's a consolation. I mean, that's the, it's the risk you take with the, with this, with older product like this. Horace Grant. Alan, I look how young Alan Iverson looks there. Those are for the Sixers, Robert Flores, with those AIs. All right, so Ben is saying, Justin was saying Suns in... Uh, Suns, well, he wants, Justin wants a game seven. 
He's saying Suns are going to win the next game. He's they're going to they're going to make a game seven happen. Ben saying Bucks. The they took the Suns' heart. Yeah, and they'll be in Milwaukee. Mac is also saying Bucks. There's, there's Jermaine O'Neal, who Justin's saying he looks so weird in these cards. I, I think no, the no headband thing probably throws throws me off for Jermaine O'Neal. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could watch, I could, I could stand to have a few more games in this series. But there is, there is a weird pressure on the Bucks though, because they are in Milwaukee. In a clinching game, and that could get that could get pretty difficult in front of your home fans. Oh, yeah, NBA definitely wants a game seven. Yeah, if you're the if if you're the TV networks, if you're ESPN slash ABC slash Disney, you want you want seven games all the time. Yeah, I don't think I've seen an MJ card in this, right? I'm my eye is kind of geared towards Kobe's and and possible Michael Jordans, and not trying to ruin these cards, but it's going to be tough. There's another Allen Iverson. But all card ship, ladies and gentlemen. So you'll get all these old school cards too. I think this is what makes the break go for much longer, not the number of boxes. Hey, there's an MJ. Chicago Bulls, that's Daniel Katz. I don't know what those go for. Maybe a lot, maybe a little, I don't know. But for what it's worth, it's still a Michael Jordan card. Nice. Max, Max got a already bored with basketball topics. We're in the middle of the NBA Finals, man. But um, Mac wants to know who who, who thinks the Seattle Kraken, the NHL team, grabbing the NHL expansion draft. I say, being the hockey expert that I am, I say you go with you go with just one great. Keeper, gold, keep, gold tender, keeper, tender, 
one great defenseman and just one great center. You know, that I mean that's you just gotta build a nice spine. No, I uh, I did not hear about the latest eighty six Jordan sale. What's the what's the story? Did it go for a lot? Did it go for a little? I actually don't know what the market is on Jordan eighty six Jordans are right now. Tell me the story, Justin. All right, there you go. Thanks for your patience on that. What was it graded to? That's pretty cool, Anthony Hardaway. You can fiddle around with that card right there too. Orlando Magic, Sean O'Leary. All right. 2012, 2013. Limited. Oh, yeah. Slides out. It's a PSA 10. It's an 840. What, what have the PSA 10s usually been going for recently? I guess maybe including pandemic pricing. 88 out of 99. We've got Jersey and Auto, Anthony Mason. Material moniker. Got die cut autograph. Josh Shelby to three ninety nine for Memphis. By the way, for some of these older stuff, uh, remember Charlotte stuff will go to Charlotte, and anything that says New Orleans will go to New Orleans in spite of what their mascot name is. Center stage KG relic. Oh, so the latest PSA 10 was, what, 200K, 400K? And so for this PSA 10 to go 840, people are talking shill bidding. Where, what, what platform is it being sold on? These all, of course, go to the Lakers. Sometimes they're, they're numbered, or I think on a rare, rare occasion, they can go for... Uh, there can be autographs there too. All right, next box. Arthur is asking, yeah, I'm not too familiar with the situation, so I'll need everyone's help on this. But wasn't that, Arthur Sears is asking, wasn't that Jordan that sold considered the top 5% of the PSAs? Like the best of the best? Is there a way to distinguish that? Is it possible that whoever was selling it just did a better job of getting eyeballs on it? Got a Patrick Williams rookie card. Zion Williamson Shockwave. Daniel with the uh, Patrick Williams. Sometimes you can get autographs out of this. It's Kyrie. Jordan and Wara. Marvin Bagley, Astro Parallel. Another Patrick Williams. Drew Holiday, Impact. To 149. This has been a great addition for the Milwaukee Bucks. Michael with the Milwaukee. Oh, 
Let's keep going. Mosaic uh, hanger box. The uh, reactive orange. It's 2019 20 edition. So Justin is saying that uh, rumor has it that the person that who, who got that Jordan is going to crack it and it's going to go for a BGS 10. What's it worth? Whatever someone's willing to pay is the. Uh, is what the usual claim is. So maybe, maybe it just got lucky. I mean, if it was eBay, you know, may, maybe the the shill bidding argument could be a thing. But if it was from an auction house, I would imagine they have. I mean, they have protections against that. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Zion Williamson, rookie card. Pelican, Sean Maddock. But yeah, hard sell what you can believe, right? Was there a guy that stole something at the Dallas show? <laughs> I don't know if Texas is the right place to be stealing things from people. Especially if you're stealing it from a Texan. Jalen Smith. Let's see what we got. Ooh, nice LaMelo Ball Origins card for Mac. That looks real sharp, Mac. He stole it Saturday and then came back on Sunday to sell it with another vendor? <laughs> Now, what a dumb. This must be like an 18-year-old kid. Not, not, not quite a criminal mastermind there, huh? Is that a variation too? Ben thinks it's a variation, Mac. Double check that, but still nice to get those base cards. There's Nico Mannion relic for Brad and the Warriors. And the auto behind Damian Lillard is Danny Avija. Big rig. Yeah, most criminals aren't too bright. Yeah, I guess everyone in their head thinks they're like Lex, Lex Luthor. <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah, I'm Michael Corleone. But then, like, that's how they see themselves. But <laughs> All right, oh, some prison retail. That part of it on that side, on the right side. Oh, what a dumb. Don't do that, folks. Don't steal things. That's the worst. Justin saying apparently the buyer of that Jordan is the same guy who bought which National Treasures logo man for four million dollars that was 
those logo men are nice. You can you can get the worst logo, the quote unquote worst player that has a logo man on there. I'll still probably sell for a minimum thousand dollars, not more. Kyle Guy, silver. For the Kings, that's going to be for PJ. Yeah, there's Kelvin Johnson. There's an RJ Barrett. Oh, the rookie Luca logo, man. And Luca's going to be pretty good, huh? They got to put some, they got to give him some help though. What are, what, what are the Mavs going to do? They got to add some pieces. Just like how they, they added some pieces with, ooh, nice Kobe Silver. How they added some pieces around Giannis. Now they're on the brink of winning a championship. I mean, Mark Cuban doesn't strike me a guy that is that is frugal. Nice PJ Washington Jr. autograph, rookie penmanship from Mac and the Hornets. I feel like. Uh, I feel like Mark Cuban will spend a little bit of money, get some players in. All right, Court Kings, 2021 Court Kings. They got to move Porzingis. Who's going to take Porzingis? I feel like if he could stay healthy... That would be a great one-two punch, but but he's oft injured and then just hasn't found his consistency. Kawhi, after that knee surgery, people are confident in taking Kawhi. Maybe I don't know. He, I mean, I guess he, I suppose he he hasn't made the decision of whether he's gonna whether he's gonna opt in or out. Out of 240, uh, 149, second year, John Moran. Got rookie expression, Anthony Edwards, Minnesota. It's going to be for Gretchen. Get Damian Lillard down there. Jason Williams. Nice brush strokes autograph. Every time I pull a Jason Williams autograph, which is not too often, this goes to PJ and the Kings, it reminds me of like a video from like a, a handful of years back where he was still playing like rec league basketball and still got the handles. He's de definitely, definitely dad botting it a little bit, but but those handles aren't going away. All right, seventeen eighteen status. Does Mark Cuban want to build a rocket? Is he on the on on the the rocket train? Does that work? On the rocket hype train? Is he going to call it the Cuban missile? The Cuban missile crisis sounds like a sounds like a like a 1980s 
professional wrestler, pro wrestler, WWF guy. Maybe not even WWF, like local wrestling, small town local wrestling. Cuban's a big fan of the crypto, Logan said. Well, if, he, if he's, maybe he's making money on the crypto, sign some guys. Get Lucas some help. Now, I think that market's saturated for those rich guys, Mac. Because it's, it's Branson, Bezos, and Musk, right? I don't know if there's room for a fourth. I think that I think the, uh, the 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 rocket market, the space market is uh, is a little saturated. Cuban's too late. All these other guys are like years ahead of him. To one forty nine, factions: Tony Parker, Mono Ginobili, and Tim Duncan for the Spurs. Rookie credentials: a fox in the box, Aaron Fox. Keep saying about what's that Star Wars thing on the left? That is, uh, that's the child. That's Baby Yoda, Grogu. Keeps me company during during group breaks. And we got Zhu Ki for the Houston Rockets. <laughs> this is the way, Aaron. This is the way. Rookie credentials, dear and Fox. All right, we are cruising. Break King. Lonnie says, I met Mark Cuban, his first year's owner, as he, he walked up to me and said who, I was, who was going to win the game. I told him Clippers because the Maverick sucks. Had no idea who he was then. And now you ended up with the Clippers in this mixer. Yeah, who ended up winning? Tommy's saying Chinese players have a huge demand for some reason. I mean, it's a pretty big country. A lot of, lot of basketball fans there. All right, let's see what we got here. How far, Arthur's wondering, how far does the rocket to the moon market go? Sky's a limit on that. We got John Collins, up and coming autograph. He's pretty good. Brad and the Hawks. So we're getting into some nicer stuff here. Graded card. PSA 8, 86 Fleer, Isaiah Thomas. Detroit Pistons. Austin with a spot that he won. And we've got a Luka Doncic, just speaking of, from 1819 Panini Chronicles Basketball, PSA 10, that playoff design. Luka Doncic, Austin with the Mavs. Logan, Logan's going to try to buy a Lord of the Rings pinball machine. We have a Avengers pinball machine here at the shop. 
And when a hero comes along. Tyler Hero, 2019 Panini Mosaic Basketball, PSA 9. That is for Brian and the Heat. I think Brian's in Florida. Might be a Heat guy. There you go, Brian. Next graded card, PSA 10, Lonzo. He kind of fixed his shot a little bit. I think he's a restricted free agent. Could be an interesting one to hold on to, see what happens to old Lonzo. That'll be for, that's Lakers edition going to Sean. Next up is red, white, and blue, Trey Young. I hope that I hope the Hawks keep doing what they're doing, keep adding to that team, keep investing, keep Trey Young there. He, he was a lot of fun to watch in the playoffs. Brad with the Hawks. I'm not seeing the Mandalorian pinball machine. Uh, PJ Washington, PSA 10 for the Hornets. Mac? Yeah, Brad's happy about the Trey Young. I think that red, white, and blue parallel looks really sharp, too. And you got John ja Morant, PSA 10. Tom, you saw some graded PSA cards for only five bucks out of the shop? Yeah, that's a bargain. Did you take advantage of it? I mean, it's not going to be John ja Morant for five bucks, but. And we've got, ooh, some Joel Embiid. Trust the process. 2014 Panini Select Basketball. PSA 9, Mint 9. Nice. That'll be for Robert and the Sixers. Check the uh, pin that pinball site there. Arthur saying, I guess the demand will drive up the cost to go into space. All right, it can't be cheap. Even if it's more available, like what's, I mean, really, really for commercial purposes, I don't know if it's really gonna go anywhere for maybe you and me. But I think the idea is you're sort of paving the way for you're paving the, the, the way to uh, for future space travel. You know? Like, could, could, could that pave the way? Could future generations of whose ever rocket ends up being the better one can, can lead to, you know, can lead to technology that'll develop, that'll get us to the moon more quickly? Build a colony there? Who knows? That's the future. 2019 Panini Prism Basketball, Brandon Clark, PSA 10. Sean O'Leary, Memphis Grizzlies. Next is Ben Simmons. Nice. He's got a big offseason ahead of him. What is he going to do? He's got to work on his shot too. 2016 Panini Select Basketball, PSA 10, Ben Simmons. And another graded card, Luka Doncic, PSA 10 from 2018 Panini Hoops. Nice, that's Austin with the Mavs. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Will he shoot a three? Yeah. Those those are those are some some really fun prop bets, like over under Ben Simmons like three points made and it would be like half a half a point or half a free throw or half a three that is. Sorry. There's Hachimura, PSA nine. That's gonna go to Tom and the Washington Wizards. A lot of graded cards here. We got Jason Tatum. Nice. From 17, 18, Donruss Optic Basketball, PSA 10. 
Aaron with the Celtics. And another Trey Young, PSA 10. Atlanta Hawks, Brad. Another box. <laughs> I think he was maybe fishing to see if he could get like multiple team offers or something like that. But hey, no harm, no foul. Didn't happen. <laughs> We've got Marvin Bagley the third, PSA ten, Sack Town. Bay Area and back down. That goes to PJ and the Sacramento Kings. King me. We got a PSA 10. And when a hero comes along. PSA 10. Tyler Hero from Mosaic. Silver Prism. Where'd you find that emoji? A heart on fire emoji. Your heart burns, Aaron, with, with passion and love. And a Zion. Blue Velocity Zion. PSA 10. I know it looked kind of hazy because it's still in the team bag, but that's a sharp looking card right there. Sean Maddock and the Pels. All right. Look at this. Last box. It's Hit Parade Basketball Autograph 3P Edition Series 2. I think there's three pieces of memorabilia inside here. Could be in here. Oh, there's a basketball in here. So remember, there's no checklist for the live memorabilia. So if it's the basketball, for example, unless there's like a team clearly stamped on that basketball, um, it'll go to the team that they played for the longest if they're retired or the team they're currently on if they're active. 8 by 10 is, is that Joakim Noah? Nice, that's a good good action shot of him there. Daniel Katz and the Bulls. All right, nice, Daniel. You're on the 18th and the 21 box mixer. Screen go. Come back, screen. There it is. All right, there should be another thing in here. Here's the basketball. There's the jersey. All right, the jersey Ooh, is an officially licensed jersey. We'll do a quick who am I with this character here. Active basketball player, a center, 6'11", 250. 11th overall pick back in 2015. He played for one team my entire career. Two-time NBA blocks leader. Who am I? Um, NBA All-Rookie Second Team, two-time blocks leader. Uh, I went to Texas. Looks like a couple seasons in Texas before being drafted in 2015, first round, 11th overall. There you go. Yep, Jordan, you got it. You're right. Miles Turner. Let's 
see if we can... So there's his autograph right there, very nice. His number, Turner, NBA logo, so it should have all the officially licensed goodies on there. Right, a Nike Fanatics jersey, pretty sweet. That goes to Asa Luke and the Pacers. I don't think I called your name all break, Asa. That's pretty nice. And the officially licensed jersey is really nice too. All right, who am I? I'm a retired basketball player. 45 years old, Was a uh, went to high school in West Virginia, went to college at Marshall, for a couple years and then Florida for a couple years was drafted in 1998 first round seventh overall played for one two three four teams my entire career a one-time NBA champion and I was an NBA all-rookie first teamer and we were just talking yeah but Ben you don't you shouldn't have answered that so I knew you were going to get it Yeah, it's white chocolate, Jason Williams. Jonathan got it too. Ooh, it's on a black basketball. That's pretty sweet. Game ball series. There's his autograph right there. And on the box in here, says Jason Williams as well, just in case. It's hard to see that. If you look at the top camera, it's going to get in there. It's going to say Jason Williams. All right, so... What team did he play for the longest? Because there's no, it's just a black basketball. There's, there's all the authentic, authentication stuff here. Yeah, I would do the elbow pass, but I'm, I'm not Jason Williams. Let's go to basketballreference.com. Must be the Kings, right? No, he actually played for five seasons with Memphis, only three with the Kings, three with the Miami Heat, and then two seasons with Orlando. So that goes to Brian S. and the Miami Heat. He was drafted by the Kings, but spent a longer amount of time with Memphis. And that goes to Sean O'Leary, who has the Memphis Grizzlies, won that spot as well. There you go. There you have it. What a nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching and joining all these. Did I say Heat? I meant Memphis Grizzlies. Sean O'Leary has the uh, Memphis Grizzlies. Sorry. Losing my mind. I need, a, I need to eat something. All right, quick little recap here. Really nice stuff. This is Joel Embiid. A lot of graded stuff out of that hit parade was really sharp. Pulled some nice relics and autos out of there as well. It's Jason Williams, King's Edition. Lamelo Ball was really cool too. Got some Kobe's out of that old box. That's really nice. Michael Jordan. 
Donovan Mitchell Silhouettes RPA. And we started off with a Cam Reddish, which was really solid. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that was Jaspie's 21-box finals basketball mixer. Thanks for uh, being a part of this. Uh, whether you were watching or, or joined the break or tried those fillers, we appreciate it. Thanks very much, everybody. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.